Hello. I've been ordered to bed by Mr. Ward. Just to um, have a bit of rest because I'm a bit tired and a bit worn out. I've been for a bath. Wet hair. Little friend with me today. But as usual. Never leaves my side. To come in dinner with me today. Yeah. <coughs> I think she's missed her mummy. I think Annie's just come home from her friend's house. If it's Tanya, she'd normally walk in. Right there. Sorry, I got out of bed and had a look. Some boys shouting for Stephanie. So, last night I was pretty good. I had a bath. I went to bed. I thought, what are you doing? She keeps on rubbing her head against my phone. Come here. And I felt quite good, I felt quite relaxed. And then I woke up this morning and it was all hell broke loose in my tummy. I was vomiting. Now, for those of you who know me, I can't vomit properly because I had a, um, a hiatus hernia repair and they repaired it just a little bit too tight. So I can't vomit properly. So imagine how that feels, people. And I was vomiting this morning. Twice, I think I vomited. Yes. Once when I woke up about three o'clock, I think. I was vomiting then. No, I no, didn't get down, mate. Good boy. Come right down. And then once when I woke up this morning. And then... I've got hair in my nose. Sorry. Ooh. Um. And then when Steve arrived to take me to radiotherapy, Oh, I vomited my guts up then. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, it's That's not meant to happen, apparently. When you take this certain type of tablet, it's going to help you not vomit. So, I went back up to the ward. And um, she gave me some other tablets to try. So that's not too bad, not at all. So I'm gonna try them in a minute. Um, radiotherapy went good today. I've got a terrible habit though of getting a really itchy face when I'm doing it. I have to stay still for about 10 minutes and it's like, ah! No, it's not nice. No Mindy Moe's. She doesn't get time to cuddle with mommy that much. Do you pop it? Yeah. She's pretty, isn't she? She's my girl. Those of you who know me will know what my animals mean to me. They're not just pets. They're my babies. My fur babies. Your Mindemoes. 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 Yeah. Say hello to everyone, Mindy. <laughs> I love the bones of my kitties and my doggies. So yeah, t today was a bit of a shit day. I was feeling sick and feeling drowsy now for look at. So I've been marched to bed to just chill out. Cause Ari's got a habit of climbing all over me. Not that it's a well, not that it's a bad thing. You know, I'm her mummy, she's meant to, but it's I'm gonna be taking care of myself. I have to get a rest. 
I can see my cheeks are perking up a bit. I suppose that's a good sign. Got to keep clean teeth as well. Healthy, clean teeth. So I've got... I use two, two types of toothpaste, you see. I use just normal toothpaste, just to clean all the bacteria off my teeth. Clean, 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 clean. Then I use that extreme white type stuff, you know, the new one. So I use that to give them a good clean. Then I use Listerine. So look, shiny, shiny. And it helps with the mouth ulcers that are going to come, apparently. So, that's a plus, I suppose. I'm looking forward to Saturday. I am going to Fresh Fields with Danielle. So, me and Mrs Asquith will be going there and I get to see a fox. <gasps> so excited. Little things like that, you see. Just getting me out of the house, get me to do something I love. I found when I'm doing stuff I like, my mind's off the sickness, it's off the cancer, it's off everything like that. Now, I'm going to be in my absolute glory on Saturday. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and get some treats and some um, goodies and everything like that. So, if anybody wants to give anything for me to take to Freshfields on Saturday, please, please do. They're desperate for dog toys, um, uh, red Kongs, like red type Kongs. There's an autistic dog there that won't play in it with anything but red Kongs. So please, people, these animals, they've got no homes. They've got, they've got the Freshfields care home, but, you know, let's give them something to play with. Let's cheer them up a bit, yeah? So I'm going on Saturday, hopefully with a bag full of treats and goodies. I need to get stuff for small animals, cats and dogs. So if any of you are feeling generous and just got a couple of pounds to spare to grab something for the doggies or the catties and for the kitties, I mean, and all stuff like that, please, it'd mean a lot to me. <laughs> um... After today, I'm starting to get to know the nurses around there now. By, by face, I'm starting to get to know them. And they seem, oh, they are really lovely. There's one man, radiotherapist, uh, he's lovely. You know, he said to me today, how are you feeling? And I said, I'm feeling a bit sick. Oh, he says, you shouldn't be. Go back up to the ward and explain to them how you're feeling. They'll have something for you to take. And they have, they've given me that. It's very good of them. And, uh, you know, they just, they really have got the time of day for you. You know, it's no, it's not a case of, oh, you'll have to wait half a day, we'll have the meds ready. Bang, like that. They walk into the back room, sort it out, bring it out to you. It's not a case of waiting for anything to be prescribed all the time, you know. I met the, um, nurse, head nurse of Halewyn Ward. My God, she's lovely. But then again, I suppose, you you know, you've got to be, to be in that type of job, especially with the people you have to deal with. I don't know if it's normal, but I've started leaking a lot of watery blood. Anyone that doesn't like what I'm saying, I'm sorry. This is described as my cancer journey. I'm going to be letting people know the ins and outs. But yeah, I've started leaking a lot of that. So it's back to wearing sanitary towels. I'm not allowed to wear tampons. <sighs> so, you know, it's... I've got a, a, a pretend alcohol night on Saturday night. I'm having that schlur type stuff. And Pepsi and stuff like that and a takeaway. And hopefully, fingers crossed, me and Lisa, and hopefully Danielle as well, Danielle Asquith, will be watching horror movies. Lisa hasn't watched the Paranormal Activity latest one yet, so that's a must. I don't know what else to watch. I'm sure I've got loads of stuff on the Skybox. And Showbox, of course. I mean, no, not Showbox. No one heard me say that. Done quite good eating wise today, though considering I've been sick. I, will, I did bring 
a little bit of water up earlier, but considering I'd had a whole bowl full of Weabix and one of them um, yoghurt drinks, you know, I try and take them to build my immune system. I only brought up a tiny bit of water, but I think that's all I could squeeze out, really. And then when I got home, I was quite peckish. So I had, um, what's it called? Pot noodle. But I like putting bits of cheese in my pot noodle. I know it sounds disgusting, but I love it. it melts the cheese, it's nice. And you know, I, I'm not really too hungry now, but I know when I start taking my sickness tablets in a minute, I'll start wanting some to eat later. And I do have in my freezer, is that bird's eye Indian curry rice thing? Oh my god, it's beautiful. You know, but I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a bit better this afternoon after a bath and a relax and everything. And you know, Esme's gone to Danielle Dyson's house. Well, thank you, Danielle, for taking Esme that means a bucket load to me it really does and my other friend Halewyn has taken Anya thank you you guys have no idea what it means to me just for me to be able to sit here and relax and also what it means to the girls as well taking them out of the situation of seeing their mother suffer because I try my best not to look like I'm suffering in front of them but sometimes it's just too difficult to hide the pain the symptoms and everything like that you know when i had my head stuck down the toilet this afternoon it was esme that ran upstairs it's not nice for her to see that and she says you know mommy what are you sick and mommy says yeah just little i'll i'll, I'll go and get daddy she ran down straight downstairs got her dad and he came up and she was like the mommy daddy's you know daddy mommy's sick and he was straight there to rub my back to look after me you know, fair play to Esme and you know, it's not nice for me to see this but I do explain to them why it happens. You know. So it is probably about five o'clock in the afternoon now. So I'm gonna go and watch some judge render. Let's go and watch the old judge shout at people, shall we? But serious what I said about fresh fields, if anybody has anything, dog food, cat food, rabbit food, anything please donate it. I will take it there on Saturday with me. It would mean a lot to me. It doesn't mean you can steal them, though, Mindy Mooth. Hey? This little miss is the one that cost us 50 odd, well, 80 odd pound. 88 pound the other day. She got a bit of a pop on the side of her belly here. You can just see it. It's just a bit of over -grooming. And then she's going to cost us another 50 odd this Saturday, I think, for um, getting her other injections. Look at what she is. But you know, I'd rather see happy animals and less money in my bank than money in my bank and unset unsettled, upset, and painful animals. You hey, Mindy Mums. Right, I'm off. I will mess. I'll blog you later. Bye guys. Hello guys. Just thought I'd say a quick goodnight because my favourite movie's on. And I have a moody miss in bed. She's very unsettled. And I need to take my painkillers and all my other tablets as well. So I'm just going to say a quick goodnight. I was able to eat something today. So I've some toast and a yogurt and I've just had an ice pop. I brought a packet of pork scratchings up because I kind of fancy them but I kind of don't as well. So I spent most of this afternoon and this evening in bed. And I got up for a little bit about half seven, quarter eight. And then I went back to bed about half nine. Mr. Ward's come up to bed now. Say hello, Mr. Ward. Hello. Got an early start tomorrow, 7 a.m. start. Well, quarter to seven, half six, quarter to seven, I could wake up. Early morning suck. But I still have got the rest of the day to do something. <laughs> you know, I can chill out on the sofa or 
you know, go for a walk or something like that. So that's the main thing. I've got another early start again on Friday and then I'm free on the weekend. So that's a good thing. I'll mute this actually, in case you can't hear me over it. Aria's a pickle toy keeps on going off because she's sleeping on it. I don't know if you can hear it going off in the background. It's quite funny. <laughs> I'm going to give her some ibuprofen in me because I think she's teething again. So then I'll have to move the pickle pickle. Let's go. I've seen her. Funny. It's just hilarious. It's really windy out there as well. But I'm absolutely boiling, but I know I can't open the window. Because it'll just blow loads of air to wake you up. So, so yeah. I know this is a really short video. I'm, I'm going to try and get some sleep. Got really early start tomorrow. I don't want to be shattered all day. My brother's coming to pick me up at about seven. So then, uh, be a nice early start. Maybe grab some breakfast in the cafeteria there, and then get home and see how I go for the day. Maybe let Mr. Ward have some sleep. Might send him back to bed. Hey, Mr. Ward. Can you go back to bed? Yep. Why not? Shit to do. Like what? Sort the house. I can do that. Well, yeah. Won't let me do anything out the house. She's really good. <sighs> Will not let me do anything. It's because I'm in a bit of pain. They said with the radiotherapy I'd get a little bit of um, pain in my stomach and everywhere like that. So, see how we go, eh? Right, in the words of Nana Anne, I'm going to get gone so I can watch my movie and get to sleep early. Bye, peoples. <laughs>